Man, just making sure that me and the guys understand the game, understand what we're doing as a defense, how we're all coming together as a whole, I think. Just pride myself on that. And what do you want your identity to be? I know last year you guys had your struggles, but with the new revamped coaching staff, what do you want this identity to be this year at the first year of the time? Man, that we, we dogs. So we're hungry. You know, we want to go out and compete week in and week out and get out. What did you set as maybe goals or challenges for yourself that you wanted to achieve that just, just over this summer as you head into fall? Like I told the other guys, just pride myself on finishing, pride myself on finishing. Um, just I felt like I flashed at times, and you know I want to be way better than I was last year. So just going out here, getting a chance to you know get out there again. Is there something specific you can focus on that that helps with that? Block striking, um, holding the point, you know. Just being able to work counter moves, you know, get out of the quarterback, play the run. Is there something that stood out about Eric Henderson, maybe the first time you worked with him? You, you hear a lot from guys that work with him, it's, it's a little bit it's a little different. Bit different. Than, uh, you know, it does it. It's, it's a different fire. Like, he's, he's really into the business of developing young men, and I think just as he's brought us along and just the knowledge he's been able to instill in us is he's priding us on finishing, you know, just being the better group. Couple, I know you just talked about, you know, you wanting to be stronger mentally. How have you done that this offseason? What have you done to prepare yourself to become a stronger mentally? I mean, just being a student of the game, understanding my tempo as a player, um, understanding certain rush tools, certain mechanics in order to be successful. So I spent a lot of time just working on my body, you know, just trying to be 100%. A couple new additions to that line. I know you guys haven't sort of camped yet, but a few of these, did you kind of feel anything from from the guy coming in and and Nate and playing together and how that's working for you guys. I think Gab and Nate has been tremendous just being older guys and older vets, being able to gel the, the younger guys and gel the group together. Is there a younger guy up front either during spring or, or summer here where you've said, okay, maybe, maybe that's a guy that you can Man, Elijah Hughes. Yeah. Yes. What is it about him? What, what's he been able to do? You know, like he said, just a guy that's willing to learn, willing to work on. You know, he's always thirsty for knowledge, like, how can I do this? How can I get better with this? Um, What's his defensive line capable of this year for, for this team? Man, like I say, just priding myself on being dogs, um, going out here being physical and playing at a high level. What is it like to just see yourself? I mean, I know as a kid, you guys the back of years, and now you have the ability with NCAA football. Just what is it like to be able to see yourself in the game and even play with yourself? I mean, just get calls from my little brother, him telling me, I just did a spin move, got to pick with you like crazy. You got to pick with you? Yeah, crazy <laughs> things of that nature. So it kind of hypes me up, like, I got to do that shit in real life and take it from the game to, to the field. You mentioned Anderson being a little bit different. Was there a, a, something that Coach Lynn did, maybe in the spring when he talked to you, where, where it kind of clicked for you that this guy knows what he's doing and, and he's a good coach? Man, just, I think his history speaks for itself. The things he did at UCLA with the Ravens, um, like I said, just being able to bring the defense together and gel us together and make sure that guys are selling out for one, one another and comfortable. And man, I know what he's talking about, <laughs> for sure. With Jonah coming in and playing in that interior, have, have you and him kind of been able to square off a little bit and, and that kind of iron sharpens iron idea? Of, yeah, during PRP, I'm sorry to interrupt. During PRPs, we kind of got some one-on-one -on -one reps and just making sure guys are um, moving at a smart tempo and kind of getting the feel for it early. But, you know, Jonah, one of those guys, I'm always I'm always in his area getting thirsty for knowledge, like how he's been able to maintain and stay healthy. We're a big help to each other. Are you, do, do you try to take on like a vocal leadership role or anything? I know some guys are, are kind of the lead by example, quiet guys. How, how do you do that as a guy that's going to be looked at to, to lead the defensive line? So? I mean, I pride myself on just taking care of my work, making sure that guys are trailing and coming along and, you know, making sure that fire is lit on everyone.